up, New York? Happy holidays. I'm Lydia Patel, and welcome to Urban Strategies, Inc. It's the holiday toy drive, and as you can see, there's so many great toys here. We're getting ready for the kids, We're ready to celebrate holiday 2017. We are in full motion, and this has got to be definitely one of the best toy drives I've seen in a long time. So keep it right here. We've got interviews with the organizers, some great people all coming up right here. Keep it locked. And greetings. My name is Pelham Ballers. I'm the executive director of Urban Strategies. We're here to ask you to donate to our toy drive. We have 2,000 children that are in need of toys during this holiday season, and we're asking the public to donate. Urban Strategies is a community based, non for profit social services organization. We provide housing to low income families, homeless families. We provide shelter services to large families and small families, and individuals also. We provide daycare centers, child care centers such as Head Start, provide after school programs, DYCD Sonic program, and HRA after school program. Urban Strategies has been in existence since 1970. We started development in 1979, starting with senior housing. The homeless issue in New York City is tremendous and Urban Strategies is a vital part of that solution. We are working hard with DHS in terms of developing more homeless programs for families out there. Some of the new initiatives for Urban Strategies is basically to get back into housing development, rehabilitation, new construction and probably home ownership. But also we want to develop our youth programs for older youth. We want to um, also expand our daycares and Head Start programs. And that's some of the initiatives that we plan right now. Hi, I'm Anthony Jones, district leader of the 55th Assembly District. And I'm here tonight in support of a toy drive for Urban Strategies, which is an organization, a not-for-profit organization located within the 55th Assembly District. Well, there's a variety of things that's taking place in our city right now where there's a lot of homelessness and uh, we need good agencies uh, to run some of the homeless shelters that are within our district. Urban Strategies has been around a very, very long time and we know that their history of giving back to the community and helping families in terms of placement in homes and things like that has been very successful and I think that they're doing a very good job. Well, one of the things that's very important in our community and I, and I commend Urban Strategies for what they're doing tonight in terms of the toy drive. There are a lot of young people in our community that unfortunately during Christmas don't get toys, particularly in a lot of the housing developments where I believe and I hope and pray that some of the kids will benefit in getting some of those toys. When I was a young man, that's some of the things that uh, many organizations did at the time. They would get toys, they would have Santa Claus come into the community, and that was something every year that we look forward to as young men and women in our community because sometimes our parents can't always afford to buy toys, especially when you're living with a mother who has seven children. Well, for those young men and women, or women who have children that are residing in the shelters, oftentimes Christmas passes them by, and they're looking on TV, they're seeing Santa Claus, they're seeing letters being written to Santa Claus, and they too also write letters, but we have to make sure that those letters are answered. And I think that it's very, very extremely important that when we see situations like this, that it's all about giving back. So I encourage you to visit some of the shelters that are within our community, stop by and drop off a toy, and let's give back to those who really, really need it. And those who live in the shelter system, trust me, as a kid, I once lived in a shelter with my family, and I'm telling you, as children, when we don't get toys, we're very disenchanted and we're very sad. So let's bring some joy back to those children who need it the most. Hi, my name is Paulette Chandler. My company name is Sister Links. My company is a small Brooklyn-based company, and what I do is I provide people with many services. I can connect you to anything from um, an event place 
if you don't have a hall, to an event overseas. If you want to take your party or just a group or just you and your loved one on a vacation, I can help you with that as well. We, I try to make sure that I provide different things for the neighborhood. I'm here today. I donated some toys, as I do every year, to different companies. And I did a shelter yesterday of um, teen moms, unwed teen moms. And also, I have another shelter that I donated to in Harlem. It was a food pantry up on 141st Street and Lenox Avenue. Every year, I try to make sure that I give back to my community. Every year, I work with um, the, borough, the Brooklyn Borough President. I do many makeovers when they have their domestic violence. I also, like I said, you name it, I'm there for you. I'm, like I said, Sister Links, I'm connected to you, and I'll connect you to whatever you need. So, I don't just give toys. <laughs> also, I gave food. I give food because I get a lot of donations from different companies. I also give clothes. So, I try to infuse everyone that I know, and I always ask. Um, I happen to work for the post office, so I get, you know, a lot of companies come through them. And what I do is I ask, what do you like to donate? It makes me feel good to give. What do you love to give? So I try to make sure everybody gives when they, it just makes you feel good to see a smile on the face. I, it's the best thing ever and it makes you feel, me, let me just say, it makes me feel as if I did my part to make somebody else have something that I may have. We really, really, really are grateful today that we can be here to raise these uh, raise awareness of the toys we need for the shelter at Urban Strategies, the different shelters. We're super, super grateful to the people who have donated. Shoppers World has helped with a lot of the toys you see here, as well as the Pitkin Avenue bid. We could not thank them enough for all they've done to help raise awareness and bring toys to these kids this holiday season that wouldn't otherwise have it. Um, I am with RF Wilkins Consultants. We are a firm that really believes in giving back to the community. We invest in projects that really lead to growth and development and help our community thrive. Those who are less fortunate, especially during the holidays at a time like this. First of all, we want to congratulate Urban Strategies on doing all this work and collecting toys for the homeless and low-income kids in the Brownsville, East New York, Bedford, Stuyvesant, and overall Brooklyn neighborhoods. So Urban Strategies has been around since 1970 working to help youth and families in the Brooklyn community and they've run programs everything from homeless shelters, after school programs, daycares, food pantries and our Wilkins Consultants is so excited to help Urban Strategies this year. We look forward to reaching our 2000 toy goal. You can still donate toys, we're still accepting toys at the Urban Strategies headquarters that's located at 294 Sumter Street. You're welcome to bring your toys up to December 23rd. Happy Holidays! Yes, it is the Toy Drive and we're here at Prive Lounge right on Flatbush, 1460A Flatbush Avenue. And we've got a patron in the house tonight who came out to support. How do you feel tonight? I feel really, really good. Very encouraged and we hope that people will really help us to raise more toys for the children. Um, I'm one of the directors in the daycare centers and so we serve a lot of underprivileged, low-income families and so we really are petitioning people to come out and to support us because in these hard economic times every little bit helps. Absolutely. So how do you feel when you look across the room you see a sea of toys there for all these kids coming up for Christmas? I am thinking that my children are really going to love those toys that they will be getting. We'll take them, we'll wrap them, and it'll be a great big surprise for each and every child that we serve, ages two through four. So really we want to thank everybody for donating and for the toy drive that is happening this year. That is wonderful. How do we get in contact with the daycare if people want to get more information or possibly sign up their child? Well, actually what they can do is go to 311. That is the best place to go. They can put in their zip code and then the, the, the operator will give them the closest daycare center that is convenient in their area. So feel free. Of course, our programs are the best, but you can feel free to go to any daycare center in the city.
goal is to raise up to 1,000 toys for the homeless and low-income families that Urban Strategy Services. So we have a little um, short program for you all today. And before we get started, I want to thank all of the sponsors who helped to make this event possible. Care Free, Free Nation and Preve, they're sponsoring us today. They're covering all the food and the restaurant. Um, we have Shoppers World, who has donated a lot of toys, and they're still donating to the agency. We have, um, who am I missing? Pick an Avenue, Avenue Bid. Um, we have Sister Links. Sister Links that just came in and dropped off a whole lot of toys. So we just want to thank you all, if I'm forgetting anybody, for just coming and supporting this cause. So I'm going to quickly um, send it over to the CEO, Mr. Pelham Bowlers, and then we're going to hear from some of our elected officials who are here today to celebrate with us and also help us in this effort. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Pelham Bowlers, Urban Strategy CEO. First of all, thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure. And thanks, for, thanks to Privy for hosting us and all of those who supported us in, to, in, in terms of the toys. Um, Urban Strategies, as you know, has been around for 30 something years. We are very thankful and grateful for the years that the community allow us to serve this community, those communities, in fact. And we want to continue for another 35 years plus and even more. Urban Strategy is very successful, and one of the reasons why we are successful is because of the hard work and dedication of the staff that you see here today. Um, we have staff who've been here for 20-something years, 10 years, 15 years. If you do an average, we have about, it, the average is basically 12 years per staff, and that's telling you how strong we are. Um, I want to say the board members are not here tonight. I want to thank them also for supporting me. There are the pictures right up there right now. As you can see, I thank them for um, supporting us through the years. The centers and the sites have a tremendous amount of toys that we've collected so far. And the kids are so happy. Yesterday I went to two events, two Christmas parties, one for the housing and one for the Fanny Barnes after school program. And to just to see the joy in the children's eyes and the faces, the excitement when the names were called out how they were screaming, and you were thinking that they were on television or something. But um, it's, it's a joy. I had a wonderful childhood when it comes to Christmas, and I want to continue spreading that. I believe in, in sharing and giving, and I you know, encourage my staff to do that all the time. So um, thank you once again for being supportive, and have a wonderful evening. The agency has a number of different programs throughout the community that services homeless and low-income families. So everything from homeless shelters to after-school programs to a food pantry. Mr. Gant, where is he at with the food pantry? Um, to a number of different um, services and programs that help to unite and serve the families of the community. Urban Strategies also, which some of you may not know, owns and operates over 550 units of affordable and homeless housing, right? So that's huge, especially in the Brownsville area, especially to have a community leader or a community group that is you know, owned by folk who look like the people and operated by folk who look like all of us in this room that still is lasting, where Urban Strategies is the last of the Mohegans doing this work. So, you know, this is just part of our commitment to bring this organization back to the forefront with the work that we're doing. And we could not have had this event today without the support of our elected officials. Good evening, everyone. So this is very exciting, and I just want to lend my support and just a quick story about Urban Strategies. So I know Urban Strategies from the time I was a little girl just growing up in Brownsville and um, just wanting to be active in the district. And my my relationship with Urban Strategies was working out of a clubhouse on Pickin in Osborne and working directly with um, with the former director and executive uh, executive director. And I remember when I had a, my aunt who had who was homeless and um, she was going through recovery and needed a place to stay. And we were able to get her her first apartment out of recovery right upstairs in the building on the corner of Osborne and Pickin. And Urban Strategies has always been supportive of our community for decades. And 
going into the city council, I look forward to partnering with your organization to be able to do whatever I can within my office and within my capacity to make sure that the families of Brownsville and Ocean Hill have the proper resources and affordable housing that we all talk about. And during this holiday season, whatever I can do to be able to contribute to a family and contribute to a child, because I grew up, I won't say, I won't use the word, the, the P word, right? Because I didn't know that we didn't have a lot of money. But um, I didn't grow up with a bunch of toys. I just grew up with a lot of love and we were able to get just one special gift on that day. And so just being able to be helpful and contribute toys to children who um, may not necessarily have an exciting Christmas, whatever I can do to be of service and to be of help and to lend my support, um, I'm excited about that. I'm Assemblywoman Latrice Walker, and I proudly represent the neighborhoods of Brownsville, Ocean Hill, Bed-Stuy, East Flatbush, Crown Heights, Cypress Hills, and East New York. Right? <laughs> Sometimes that's a tongue twister. But of course, we're here to discuss holiday cheer and Christmas festivities. You know, I, I remember one year as an adult when I looked around and everyone got Christmas toys and I didn't have one. And I'm an adult and I felt some kind of way. We know that around Christmas time, it's some of the most depressing times of our experiences. Even I haven't really been feeling that much in the holiday cheer when you think about all of the bills and everything else that you have to deal with in your everyday lives. So I can only imagine what a home must be like when you don't have much to offer. So again, it's a wonderful occasion and a pleasure to be able to partner in the little way that we can in order to make Christmas that much more pleasant, that much more happy for a child, but also for the family as a whole. So that we can do our part to say to so many families who are at Urban Strategies and all of the families across the 55th Assembly District that we wish you a happy holiday. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll even say Happy Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. <laughs> right? So it's always a pleasure to work with Urban Strategies. We had a wonderful, wonderful summer where we did a block cleanup. Uh, and that's only the beginning of the level of support and camaraderie that we're going to be able to deal with with this wonderful organization, which, as a, a Councilwoman Alika Samuel said, has been a longstanding stakeholder within our community for decades and decades. So you may have been around for 30-plus years, but we're looking forward to the next 30 years. Let's give Mr. Pelham and Urban Strategies a round of applause. <laughs> and I just want to thank God this evening that I'm able to come here for this special event, but I always like to give credit where credit is due. And today I was supposed to be at work from 11 to 7 p.m. and I did not know whether or not I would make it here tonight. But when I walked in my office today, I wanna to give my director a round of applause who said to me, no sir, we are going to that event. Definitely some inspirational speeches that we just heard from the team over at Urban Strategies, including the CEO himself. Everybody's here tonight, the whole entire team came out to support the Holiday Toy Drive for 2017. And let me tell you, it is so amazing to see just how many toys were collected here tonight. I feel honored and proud to be a part of this because it's so important to really make the holidays so magical for these kids, supporting all the areas in Brooklyn, but in particular, Brownsville and East New York. So we'll take a quick break, and guess what? When we come back, you're gonna have a performance from Ayana Gabrielle. Keep it right here. Oh, the time has come for my dreams to be heard. They will not be pushed aside and heard into your own, all cause you won't listen. I 
have listened There is someone here inside Someone I thought had died so long ago Oh, I'm screaming now for my dreams to be heard They will not be pushed aside and heard into your own all oh, cause you won't listen. listen I am alone at the crossroad I'm not at home with my own home and I tried and tried to say what's on my mind you should have known to the song here in my heart a melody I but can't complete oh, oh, now I'm done believing you You don't know what I'm feeling I'm more than what you made of me Follow the voice you think you gave to me And now I gotta find my own I'm here with Ayana Gabrielle, the lady with the big voice. Definitely, it was so amazing hearing you sing tonight. I've never heard that song done by you before. Of course, it's the holidays. You you killed it in a great way, <laughs> of course. So how do you feel tonight? Nervous. <laughs> um, I was going through a lot. So I had to get myself, put myself together and just do what I do. Make the stage my platform and touch people. That's what I love doing. That's what I live for is touching people. And you actually shared a really intimate story about your experience, you know, what you were going through and how Urban Strategies really, you know, help you get through that time. So kind of highlight now one-on-one -on -one with the viewer. Well, for the most part, I was, my, it, it was killing me, my pride, that I had to go to a shelter. But at the end of the day, I knew I, that would be better for my son and myself. And going through the struggles of dealing with not having your own home, you know, and just... But it, it, it was a, a situation that made me get into a better situation. So, like I said, I'm thankful and grateful for Urban Strategies. They, they're here today like they were years ago. So, you know. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And in terms of music, of course, this singing that you got, what's going to be happening in 2018 with that? So in 2018, I'm actually getting the team together now, building a um, social media website. Um, Instagram, new page, music page, new stuff is coming. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We will definitely be on the lookout for it. Thank you so much for sharing your stories, guys. Check her out. This is this is the next big thing. You heard it right here on What's Up New York. It's Diana Gabrielle, Lydia Patel right here. We'll be right back. Urban Strategies has been my client now for seven years. And I tell Mr. Bowlers all the time, I think this agency has the hardest working people I have ever seen. And, and I'm not just saying that. Every single day, you all work so hard. Even if you have a little, you take whatever it is and you make people's lives amazing. So I just want to thank you. Thank you for all of the hard work you do. Thank you for the work that you continue to do in the community. And thank you for continuing to fill the hearts of community members. Enjoy the rest of the night. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, and all the above. Thank you. What's up, New York? Well, it's about that time to say goodbye, but I want to thank everyone who came out tonight to the Urban Strategies Holiday Party. It was such a good toy drive. We collected so many toys. This is just a snippet of the toys that we got. There's so much more in store, and because of all of you at home, you're definitely going to help make a holiday Christmas for all these kids at home just so much more amazing. So, of course, on behalf of everyone here at What's Up New York and the entire family, we want to say Merry Christmas and all the best for 2018. We'll see you then.